Why, hello there, everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, konnichiwa, o kenki desu ka? And I hope everything's going well. And this video is relatively short and uh, is really straightforward. This is my Achilles Pink Toe Tarantula, also known as the Carabino Versicolor. And yeah, this is another pairing video. This is the second one that we're doing of my six females. And uh, this one is very short because the male and the female pretty much just get straight into it. But if you want to see the insertion, just where, you know, the male does the job, skip to this time frame to save you the time. So, without further ado, let us get into it. Now, in terms of editing for this video, I didn't really edit too much because it's really straightforward. I think I only did about three cuts of this entire video that you're watching right now. So, uh, the actual time is about seven minutes total. And this video is about six minutes long. So essentially, I only cut out a little bit of the beginning part where I'm prepping and whatnot. But uh, yeah, there's no extended version for this on the Patreon. So uh, this one is just going to be pretty much as is on this YouTube channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one because, man, usually it takes about over 10 minutes just for a pairing. But this one is relatively quick. So thank goodness. <laughs> less like there's literally less waiting here. I don't mind waiting because as a tarantula breeder, you know, waiting is pretty much commonplace at that point. But to see tarantulas go straight at it, like just breeding, it's almost astonishing, honestly. The only time I've seen this sort of behavior is with M. Balfouri, and those species are the easiest to breed in my entire experience. But this is not M. Balfouri, this is C. Versicolor, so... <laughs> It is almost amazing to see, honestly, just to see two tarantulas find love almost instantly. By the way, everyone, if you want to see the full, pretty much extended and uncut versions of my tarantula breeding videos, please go support me on Patreon because that's where I pretty much upload them if you want to see longer videos that are unedited and whatnot. Now, they may not have commentary, but I promise you it's pretty much the longer video <laughs> if you like watching longer vids. For me, and for most people, based on the analytics, a lot of people prefer just getting straight to the point where it's shorter and where the male and the female gets together. And not trust me, I look at the analytics, everybody. <laughs> I check it every single time to see what time frame people watch my tarantula breeding videos. And honestly, I can't really tell if people prefer longer or shorter videos. So if somebody could recommend how long of a video they're willing to watch, I would be interested to know because a lot of people have different recommendations between longer and shorter videos. So this is the insertion you've been waiting for. The male goes under and does his insertion and I have to say this male does push the female back quite a bit which is actually kind of funny because usually female tarantulas are bigger and heavier than the male counterparts. But this is male for some reason he he really wants to get into this female so <laughs> he's actually pushing her back. Which is actually kind of funny because I don't usually see that in most cases because typically the males are usually the one who's more afraid. So he's pretty much the one that's being more cautious while the female is more of the aggressor in most cases. But I guess not for this male because this male is an alpha. <laughs> and, and don't worry guys, he does survive and there's more females after this one, which you'll see in future videos. So subscribe and don't miss out on a future upload. I upload every single Friday here on the channel. So please feel free to do so. So now that we're waiting for this male and this female to be done hooking up and whatnot, I think I should elaborate on how I actually introduce my males to my females. So typically, I'll usually introduce males on the opposite side of the enclosure. So for example, if my female is at the back of the enclosure, then I will introduce my male into the front of the enclosure. Yes, the furthest distance as possible. And the only reason why is because I want to give the male some time to actually feel the female's enclosure and get a general gist. Because a lot of people need to understand, when you're coaxing a male tarantula into a female's enclosure, typically when you're coaxing, sometimes the males will actually freak out and run straight into the female's enclosures out of fear. And by doing so, it kind of makes the female think, hope we got prey and she's just going to snack on them. So I don't introduce my males close to my females. Most of the times, it's always or usually on the opposite side of the enclosure. And that's just the way I do it because I like to give my males distance and also some time to get comfortable. Now this is the way I do it, but I've seen people on YouTube really just introduce males to females really close to each other. And that's how males get eaten because 
as soon as he gets coaxed in he runs in out of fear and then the female thinks it's a prey item or a little roach or something and then she just snacks on them so for me i just like to give them distance because it allows for the male to adjust to the female's enclosure now it will take longer for them to find each other but i think the payout is much more safer and is more worth it on one of my videos somebody commented and stated that i was being too rough on one of my males and if you're wondering what it was it was just me coaxing the male into the female's enclosure which is kind of strange honestly because some people just put the male's enclosure besides the female's enclosure and open their enclosures and expect the male to go in honestly that's not going to cut it you have to literally introduce the male to the female's enclosure for them to get going so i don't know what i did wrong because i pretty much did nothing wrong so the pairing pretty much ends here so without further ado everyone I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. I upload every single Friday here on the channel, so please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and stay updated to whenever I upload here on the channel. And also follow me on my IG and my Twitter and support me on Patreon. And with that, stay lax and Laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.